Hi, today I'm going to test the timer and I'm going to test my 1100 watt off of my solar running the deep freeze. Alright, let's get this to kick on. Oh, it's over there. Can't quite tell if it's on. I think I passed it, so let's just put all these down. Right there. There it goes. It's on. It's kind of hard to see out here. I just see the one light over here. And unfortunately, I can't see. Uh, it says 1280, 1296, alright, um, so just so you know, I do have two extension cords, I only have 25 foot cords. So you know this is running off the solar. Alright, I'm gonna unplug it. There you go, see? Now I'm gonna plug it back in. Yep. Now it says the compressor light is on. Uh, the compressor is running. Now let's run back out here. Normally I'd have the timer hooked up. It's a 15 amp timer. Um, normally I would have the timer hooked up for a half hour at a time. Now it is 9.45 in the morning. Um, if I was going to run this on my timer, which I will be doing, I would make sure it kicks on sometime in the middle of the night, possibly 2, 2.30, 3 o'clock. Let it run for a half hour. And then I would set the timer for probably an hour during the day, running strictly off the solar. Thirteen... One zero. So it's definitely working, and this is on my 1100 watt modified sine wave inverter. Now I also did talk about how to pack a deep freeze. Um, ice is your stream best friend. I'm going to show you what we have in this small deep freeze. Now remember, this is running strictly out of my solar system. This is 400 watts of solar powering this deep freeze. Now, I would not attempt to run our fridge at the same time. Uh, as long as the freezer wasn't running, my solar, of course, will run the fridge. But that's why the freezer would be on a timer. I apologize for any shaking. Alright, I'm going to show you what we have in here. Now remember, ice is absolutely your best friend. Think about your deep freeze as an ice chest. The more ice in it, it that's in it, the colder it's going to stay. The longer it's going to stay cold. Alright. Now we have the little basket here. And I can fit more in here if I remove the basket. We do have ice. I'm going to throw all this on my bed. Let me set this camera down. Alright. Now you see I took a couple things of ice out. Here's stuff in the basket. 
We have four pot pies, some broccoli and cheese, two things of brown and served sausage, and some hash browns. That's just in the basket. Now I could actually make more room in here if I did one thing, which I did a specific thing for a reason. I did put some water jugs in here. Um, they are standing up. There are five, two liters in the bottom of this. I just put them in here this morning, so they are not frozen, but they will be froze by this evening. My girlfriend does like these chimichangas. Just to give you an idea of what you can put in the freezer. As you can see, the two liters. Now, like I say, if I wouldn't have put those two, two liters in there, there would be a whole lot more room in here, okay? But since what I'm attempting to do is make as much ice as possible and take up as much room as possible, in fact, I could probably throw some ice packs down in there around those two liters. The two liters I filled up just about where the top of the label is on the two liters, so the ice has room to expand. This is everything we had in there, not counting, you know, of course, with the two liters. Two boxes of four-pack party pizza. Um, some Salisbury steak. Six chimichangas. And, of course, everything in the basket. And you're probably going, well, dude, that's not a whole lot of room. That's not a, lot, a whole lot of food. Well, you're right. This is a small freezer. And I took up a good chunk of it by putting two liters in the bottom. Now, if I would have found some type of container, a flat container that I could have froze the water in, I could have kept more room in here for food. But think about this. I mean, do you know how long you can survive on just what we have here? All right. So here's eight pizzas. Um, Salisbury steak. We have six packs of chimichangas. We have sausage, broccoli and cheese, pot pies, hash browns. So you could survive on this. You and a loved one could survive on this for probably two weeks. Um, you know, especially if you're only eating once a day. But if you're eating twice a day, all right, let's say twice a day, you're having a pizza at night you and a loved one that's four days worth of pizza the salisbury steak with a can of vegetables as a meal uh, these are eight packs so you're looking at a lot of chimichangas they're quick to make in the microwave you can make them in an the oven you could probably make them in some type of pan over an open flame for breakfast you have the brown and served sausage hash browns um, then again, you can have the um, Salisbury steak there with the broccoli and cheese. And of course, you have the Popeyes, which is another meal. If each one of you is having two, there's four of them there. And once again, my solar is running this without an issue. So I would have this on a timer. Ice is your best friend. I mean, this is the ice packs I've had in there. These are, this is a one gallon right here, one gallon bag. Uh, this is a uh, quart, and both of these are sandwich bags. So I do have more ice that I could throw in here. If I took these out and just threw packs of ice in the bottom, that would give me a lot more room. But I don't need that much more room because, in fact, uh, we have some ground meat in this one and just some ice trays I could throw that ground meat in there if I took some of that ice out or if I took something else out and that's a big thing of ground meat in there our other freezer up here 
I do have some ice packs in here. This is where I froze them and a couple pizzas. And you can tell there's really not much in here. Um, everything's pretty much in the deep freeze. And like I said, it is running on my solar. It's running without an issue. But when you pack your deep freeze, pack it as tight as you can possibly get it in there with ice packs. Anything you can put in there. It doesn't matter if you make them flat, make them round, square. As long as you have ice in here, it'll stop keeping it from running as much. And once again, let me show you. This is, it's only 9.53 a.m. Unfortunately, I can't get back there to uh, switch it to watts unless I unplug it. I actually should have got a stick out here before I did this, but it, it's working just fine. As you can tell, there's not a lot of sun right now on my solar panels. And because the sun isn't really up right now. So, can you run a deep freeze off solar? Absolutely. And as you can see how I have my uh, solar hooked up, I have it hooked up to the bus bars. And this is our 1100 watt to 2200 watt inverter that was $99.99 at AutoZone.com. They don't pay me. I'm not sponsored. I did purchase this. This is a modified sine wave. But this is a low inverter to get if you want to run something like a deep freeze this will absolutely run our little mini fridge it'll run our deep freeze uh, with the bus bars here I can hook up more than one inverter if I need to go back in here But as you can tell, it is running uh, without issue. All right, let's get some of the stuff back in here. Give me just a sec. remember how I had this in here and it's kind of a pain I'm trying to remember how I had this in here there we go Of course, you can put it in however you want. Put this block of ice down here. Oh, better yet, I'll just set that right there. Okay, I hope you could hear me. I put all that stuff back. And remember, the more food you have in here, the fuller this is, the more ice you have. The less it's going to run, the longer it's going to stay cold. Once again, this is running. Hey, midnight on uh, my solar setup. <laughs> yeah, midnight in here. He has a little tuff on his back there. He keeps he keeps growing out right there. I don't know why. Midnight. And once again, this is off 400 watts of solar. And the sun is not shining on all three panels right now.
and it seems to be keeping up with it just fine. Alright, well that's it, that's showing you our solar system running our chest freezer. If you have any questions about this, leave it in the comments below. I thank you. Uh, if you like my videos or like the information in them, please share them. I do not have a lot of subscribers here. It'd be nice if more people would be able to see my videos. Anyway, that's it. I'm Fitz and Go. Everyone have a good day. Bye.